let me have your attention. The next thing I'll name, explain, and demonstrate and that you'll work on is the creeper farm of the skeleton farm, creeper farm, record farm, part two. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to come back up here into your lighted area. All right, and you want to make sure, okay, you know where your killing area is, which mine is about down there somewhere. All right, and so what you want to do is you want to know also where the center is, which is not that one. It is about here, All right? But what you want to do is you want to off-center where that hole is to where your creepers are going to fall down or else, or else they are going to, fall and be lined up with that. You don't want to be lined up with that to where you can't get uh, next to them. All right. You want them to fall this way so that way they go around in an L shape so that way you can fit in and be in the crossfire. So I want to set the center of my creeper farm about here. So I dig it in here. This is going to be the center. Okay, when you get it, you're going to want it for 17 blocks long, or at least 8 blocks away from the center, and another 8 blocks away from the center. And then you want to clear this out again, you know, so it would be 17 by 17. Okay, once you have it cleared out, I put these little just blocks here so to help me count. So that way I know I got 17 by 17 by 17. It makes it easier to count that way. And torches to keep it nice and lit up. But now what you want to do is all around the edges, dig up as high as you can, too wide. And so when you're at a corner, well, you don't really have to dig all the way up, just at least three, three up. So if you dig three up, you'll be fine. Three up all the way around, too wide all the way around. Okay, once you have all that, you should have this flying block. All you're going to do is go up and turn this into a flying platform. So go ahead and dig out the two top all the way until it is nothing but one flat surface. Okay, and you should have it to where it looks something like this. Next, we're going to set up the creeper area where the creepers are going to spawn. So the easy thing to do is go to corners and do a four by four block like such. And this is the corners and at this corner here so that way the creepers will go here and they won't get stuck in this corner. So you're sort of wedging the corner. All right. Now going back to where we are off of one of these, leave a spot. One, two, three. All right. Leave a spot. One, two, three. All right, and then put that all the way up to the thing. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. All right, and that should be it. <clears throat> and this is the pretty much the walls for it. And then at every single entry point, go ahead and you can knock this piece out just like such and now i'll show you because now what we got to do is we got to lay out carpet on here because you don't want spiders to spawn in here so we're going to put carpet in to sort of break up the spawning spots to where spiders can't spawn so <clears throat> looking from above this is where you want to place your carpet if you see where the walls are three, put one up each against each one of those. All right. <clears throat> and then where those two link up, put a piece of carpet there. Then put a piece of carpet in the middle with trap doors all around, like such. I'm going to put a good view up on top so you can see again. And that's how you're going to lay out the carpet. So now when you get your carpet in, it should look something whoops, like this. All right, now the next thing what you want to try to do is you want to try to get a cat into here. So you need to get a tamed cat, bring it in from somewhere, and then have it sit right here. 
that's what these things these things are to prevent the creepers from coming in and accidentally pushing the cat because they sometimes do that so let's go ahead and we're going to put a cat in here so like that you're going to want to get your cat and put your cat here in the middle and this is where your cat's going to be from now on now after you get your cat in here what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put in trap doors all on this whole top and that's why it's important to put the cat in here first because after you get these trap doors in here it's kind of hard to maneuver in here because you with the carpets on the floor and everything so what you want to do is the whole top you want to line this with trap doors and I'll show you why as you can see in here with the creeper and then the trap door right uh, the creeper can still spawn because the creeper is pretty short so it can still spawn their skeletons zombies um, and their men especially they all can't spawn uh, in this little about a space only creepers can so that's what makes the farm perfect for creepers oh yeah one thing also with your trap doors I should do this before you really start putting that up here where you put these little edge pieces right here you want to double them up to two and open them up why you need two is so that way the creepers think that there is actually solid blocks there to fall onto um, if there's only one sometimes they'll just hover on that one so it's best to go ahead and put two trap doors over each one of these little holes right here. Okay, so now the top of your creeper farm should look like such. Now we're going to work on uh, the killing area. So what you want to do is you want to find your center should be lined up from that to that one so it should be about here you want to dig down at least about two or well you want to dig about at least three or four three or four from there and now we're going to line this tunnel up to our killing chamber in our killing room okay after you find the connection from where your creepers are going to fall to where you want them to go all right, you want to make sure that you have just at least enough room to actually step step back so I want to build this up just a little bit like that so that way uh, if they blow up they won't give me any damage so I got a little trail leading to them. now I just want to test the water to see where it goes so the best thing is from the bottom here put that out into where the water stops when the water stops take out that block because you want it to drop down all right, you want them to keep going and going so the water you know stops there so there Move around let's get a little bit of light all right, you see that goes all the way around to here now I knew this was going to stop here so that's why I want to demonstrate this what you want to do is where the water stops here because this is at the level that they need to be in all right I want them to be here so let me put a block here all right <clears throat> so you put a one block or a sign above the water and then a sign next to the water and you're going to put some water there that way when the creeper comes it's just going to keep pushing them and they're not going to stop so it just gives them a more boost to keep them level more and then they should end up here next to them and then don't forget to here is where you want to put your hoppers for to collect your records it doesn't hurt actually to put a a hopper here and actually a hopper there too okay now you should have something like this so I put a hopper there hopper there there's a hopper underneath there all right and I put hoppers there and I put carpet on there so that way the XP orbs will come to me if you want to use that farm to get XP all right and something I like to do is I just like to be able to see the creepers as they're coming down so I'll go ahead and I'll replace this all with glass all right Make sure you get the corners too because you don't want them to get stuck there. All right, and so you just glass out so you can see. And this is where you're going to want to stand when the skeletons come. So now what you need to do is you need to head back up into the creeper farm and let's set that water up in there. Okay, so when you get yourself back up here, all right, what you're going to do is one, uh, probably get rid of these torches here. Or leave them there first really because you don't want the creepers to be spawning while you're there and then again just like with the skeleton farm with your water bucket two blocks away and then go ahead and put 
your water down and do that all the way across except for the last two and then you go ahead and skip two. Since you're in the back here you can go ahead and put the water up in that top corner there that way you don't have to tread through water and come all the way back but just gotta remember one two and then all the way across all right so let me get this done okay once that's done it should look something like this except probably darker but i got night potion all right so you have that in there set all the carpet set trap door set that's set all right and this should go down into your skeleton chamber. They should come straight down to here and into here. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, so another tip is to make sure that you have all the caves around light lit up, all right, or else the creepers are just gonna spawn anywhere else but in the, your little trap here that you want. But uh, when you have everything lit up and when a creeper spawns, this is usually what happens. See, the creeper will see the cat and run away. When they run away, they'll fall down into the water and down the chute. So once they fall down the chute, I made myself a little exit here so I can get out, but the creeper can't. All right, and they'll follow your little tube path that you just made. You see, I got my skeletons in there. So the creeper's going to come down. going to come and here's the part where it'll just keep getting pushed along with the water all right and it goes right into this thing so let's go to game mode survival and as soon as I get the creeper Ta-da, and the creeper is gone. Go back to game mode, creative. All right, and we'll see in our hoppers here what we actually got. And there is the record, wait. So this is actually operational, but again, the tip is to get all the caves around uh, lit up as best as possible as you can. And then you can just go here Kill the skeletons to get the XP. And you turn that off. So, I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope it was easy and explained out well. Remember, you can stack the creeper farm, light up caves, all right? Um, and you can build your storage and however you want yourself. Glass is best to see that the creepers are moving. Um, but yeah, and a lot of stuff is all up to you, how you want to design it, how you want to get from one room to the other. Like, so make sure you build access, little maintenance tunnels, maintenance paths, maintenance ladders. Um, that's all up to you. You can design that however you want. I am not going to tell you how to do that. All right, but with that being said, thanks for watching. Sorry, fully out.